I'm Lat Prarita Sherpa, originally from Nepal, uh, Everest regions. I grew up about at 12,500 uh, feet. Uh, I'm 44 years old, uh, married with my wife, Kuruba. Uh, we've got uh, three kids, uh, two daughters and one son. It, our hometown is a very small hometown. Uh, probably about a couple hundred people live uh, uh, in my hometown area. And we don't have a you know, road. Uh, there's no car. Uh, mm -hmm. Still, these days we have to walk uh, three to four hours down to a town called Namche Bazaar. Mm -hmm. So where we can shop uh, everything we need. Uh, when I was at 12 or 13 12, years 13. old, uh, I went to school in Kumjung, which mm -hmm. is about uh, four hours hike uh, one way. So I did that for like four years. You hiked every single day? Every single day, five days a week. It was four hours one way? Uh, yeah, it's about four hours one way. Uh, I live home at uh, 6, so I will be getting at uh, school around 10. The school starts at 10, then the school will be over at 4. And did you go by yourself or are you uh, with a few? From my hometowns, so I'm the only one who went to the school there. But uh, after two or three years, the uh, few more uh, uh, friends. friends joined with me. Yeah. But uh, they gave up in between. The son, definitely the parents will like, give up priority to the son yeah. to go to school, yeah. but not the daughters. Like, say, you know, my family, I have a six sister. Five of my sister, they, they never went to the school. Uh, I went to the school for my village. I went three grade, my sister went for four grade. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we don't have uh, there anymore for That's five it. to six. Mm -hmm. We have to go to Kumjung also. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of friends who went to school with me down in a high school. Uh, they, are, they came from very wealthy families mm -hmm. and they have a very um, uh, good clothing Easy. and they have uh, enough money to spend and I have to be very uh, careful yeah. with what I'm spending and a lot of my uh, uh, clothing are there's so many mm -hmm. patches mm -hmm. and you know, and I was like, uh, I mean, someday I could, I, I would, have an opportunity to have a new new pair of uh, pants mm -hmm. or a new pair of shoes. Mm -hmm. uh, when I go to the, my school, a lot of climbers walk by my school and they come to visit us. It's a ride on the path uh, to Everest uh, uh, base camp. So since I was a little kid, I always want to be a climber. So I start my uh, climbing career in 1984 with my uh, cousin i never been to uh, expeditions before. I did a whole bunch of trekking with my dad. My dad used to be a climber and trekking guide too, but never did a, a expeditions, never did a climbing. Requested my cousin if he could hire me, so he hired and he gave me a one or two week uh, climbing courses at Everest Base Camp. And that was my first expedition. It wasn't that uh, great experience either because I was uh, completely in avalanche a couple of times. So our marriage, our parents. Mm -hmm. uh, and how old were you when you were told that this was who you were going to marry? I was about 25 years old. Yeah. And she might be 26. Six. Oh wow. That. Is that common to be at that age, or do people get married younger? It is. It is common. Some yeah, people some get people it. Some people do a little younger. younger than that. And had you been waiting, you knew your parents would arrange. Were you anxious, wondering who that was going to be, or when will I know? That huh? time is pretty much parent choose, and then we played together. A Families lot of our friends tease us. <laughs> and it's one good thing is when they're teasing, if you get pretty upset, then that means uh, we are not accepting each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? But, uh, but she really, she never got upset. She never got upset. <laughs> so, uh, so I thought it maybe it will work out. <laughs> so my parents uh, so first uh, was I was uh, ready to go to India to do a trekking work. So before I go to India, my parents asked me, you know, we're going to recruit us uh, family and ask, uh, what do you think about and this and this? And I said, okay, and if you guys want her as your daughter-in-law, then go ahead and do it. And so they did it. And at the same, <laughs> same time, her mom will <laughs> ask uh, her too. So if she says no, then they can't. She wouldn't have you. Yeah. But she said yes. I, I think she said yes. <laughs> yeah. Like, did you have any thoughts of how different it would be or have no idea? 
I have no idea at all. I mean, <laughs> Not it, was, much idea. it was very scary uh, to come over because uh, you know uh, it's a long way from my hometown. Yeah. When he decided we have this opportunity, and you shared with her, mm -hmm. maybe I should we should think about moving. What did you think? Or is it no, right? She didn't want I to. I say I didn't want to. How old were your kids? That time, my younger one is five years. I come here for six months, and I, I went to the back of my home, and she forgot me. When I come here, it's a pretty hard for, I didn't understand any English, and that's a pretty hard part. Oh, no, we don't drive. Oh. So a lot of time, though, I look at the ad, and we, oh. we, I, we don't have a cell phone, so we walk to the uh, apartment, we, the we go house, to the yeah. pay phone, Call and then go to look at the apartment. So we've been lucky, you know, we found one right next to my uh, office. <laughs> I I want to do it because I uh, you know it's it's tough for me, but I mean, you know, it's better opportunity mm -hmm. for my kids. Like, how was that being a parent separated from your children? It's it's just, pretty hard. It's very tough. It's very really hard. tough. They're and crying oh, always, and yeah. we're crying always. Yeah. And we how talk. often would you talk? You talk on the phone. Talk and crying. Yes, yeah, we do talk a lot on phone. And, Lots yeah. of crying. Long year, eight years. <laughs> we knew that it is going to be worth it. Yeah. Yeah, so we know how long it's going to be, yeah. but uh, the hardest part I, is uh, being lonely. Yeah. Uh, lonely, yeah. Especially mm -hmm. for me, I mean, I'm always gone, I'm uh, working somewhere. It doesn't really uh, uh, affect me mm -hmm. because I'm working somewhere. Yes. But I uh, say, I know I got here 2000, year 2000, I, I went to South America for three months, then she will be by herself mm -hmm. here three months. Uh, uh, I think during, much, during the day for work. her, during the day, she's okay with her work. Come home, it's, it's hard. And it's quiet, quiet by herself. And I did it that time pretty, pretty much. I did it six day or seven day if I kind of be yeah. like. And there's not I many. I try to do all my kind of busy. I have a, that time also not much shepherd friends here too. There's not many friends. I have a few uh, American families, they help me, but sometimes I feel like they too much help me and then yeah, I feel so like guilty. I'm too shy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm very proud because uh, of myself and my parents because they, they sent me to school so today I can have this opportunity mm -hmm. and same time you know if I didn't went to school I didn't spoke a language and probably I want uh, yeah. uh, have this opportunity yeah. mm -hmm. uh, the reason I got this opportunity was I, I spoke very uh, I spoke pretty good English mm -hmm. when I was climbing a lot of climbing Sherpa doesn't spoke English, mm -hmm. and that's how I get this uh, mm -hmm. opportunity. Uh, I'm pretty much proud that you know I went to school, yeah. uh, uh, didn't uh, give up, uh, yeah. even even if it was too hard for my parents. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm not so good for school. Everything I didn't go to school, <laughs> but that's but, okay. But I think it's I'm kind of be like proud for my kids are pretty good, and smart. Mm -hmm. And, and also, healthy. You know, I'm, I'm very proud to have yeah, a and like, then oh, she's a good teacher too, so she kinda I, a lot of things and stuff. I try to teach know. everything, kind of like, <coughs> try to do good things, but it's still for me, my, I'm, I'm thinking it's for me, it's not for myself, it's not proud, but people say sometimes you're doing really proud. Yeah. <laughs>